Hi ladies. So I want to talk about book drives. I'm going to give a basic overview of a book drive and how I ran my book drives. There really is not one right way to do it. I'm just going to tell you the way I did it. And then I'll talk a little bit about the Cuddle Bear book drive, which is the book drive we're going to do as a team challenge next month. Okay, so first, to do a book drive, you pick your organization. Um, whether it be a hospital, people do all kinds of things. I've heard people do, you know, if a house burns down, they raise books for the money for books for the kids, you know, in the house or women's shelters or um, I did one for our school at church and I also did one for the inner city kids here in um, Erie for their summer reading program. So, and I was contacted about that one. I didn't make that up on my own. So pick your organization, um, contact them. And if you reach out to a few places and you don't hear back from anybody, I have heard of other people who just do it for them. You know, whether they heard back from them, like if it's a hospital or a children's hospital or something, they're gonna love your books you donate. And you know, they just raise the money and then at the end, ham this tons of books over and the place is like, oh, awesome, thank you. So, yeah, I mean, you want to try to contact them, but if you don't hear back, I'd probably raise money for them anyway. So, number two, I say write up something about it. That's what I would do. I would write up a little who, what, when, where, why, why you're raising money for them, who they are. Um, the more detailed you can give, the more information, the more people will want to donate. You know that we're always asked to give money. I mean, people are constantly sending things in the mail for us to give money, and so you want to give more information. You don't want to be too vague. Um, all right, let's see. Looking at my cheat sheet here. I say that 99% you are not gonna get donations through putting your thing right on your newsfeed. It's a nice idea. Like in our heads, we're like, oh, of course everyone wants to give books to this wonderful organization. <laughs> of course they would. But like I said, we're getting, everybody's getting asked for money all the time and from good causes, you know? So, so I say that private messaging people is the way to go. You know, the inner city book drive one that I did, I did along with three other consultants and four other people who were friends of mine shared it on their feed. We all shared it on ours. Eight people, that's thousands of people this was shared with. There was one donation and it was the woman who ran its friend. <laughs> so put it on your newsfeed, that's awesome. But I would say you're gonna have to copy paste a private message, maybe put the person's name in. And so, my husband's saying that's too much on that no, point. Oh, okay. So, private messaging people and asking them. Dusty had mentioned in her book drive video, 48 hours. A lot of people suggest only running it for 48 hours. I think Tabitha, our director, suggests that too. For the purpose of, you want it for the urgency you know, reason. If people see, oh, only for 24 hours I am doing this, or 48 hours, um, they're more likely to go, okay, click and donate. You know, if you have it going on for a week or a month, they go, oh, okay, I'll get to that, I'll get to that, and forget. Um, I see the wisdom in both. I didn't do the 48 hour one, I because for the next purpose that I did, and you know your audience, or you know who you're asking for money, for my first book drive, I sent out snail mail too, which was very helpful, but I was doing it for my church, so I knew grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles and all the people who didn't have the internet would give me like a hundred bucks and they did so I put snail mail out my letter tweaked a little like don't click on the box you know take that out and I put what it was please send me a check back ASAP we're only doing this to Friday so I gave him like five days and um and sent a self-addressed stamped envelope has a big hint hint <laughs> so um I didn't do that for my second book drive so so you can just like I said there's no one right way so do that so I ran mine for a week, but I also, so I private messaged everyone in the beginning, and then I 
sent another a day before it ended to the people who hadn't donated. You know what? I write a big list. I write down all the names of all the people I'm going to private message. Um, because then I want to cross their names off and then maybe 24 hours before your, you are ending your book drive, send them all out a message again. I mass messaged that one. If I had to do it again, I might private message that 24 hours left. We have 24 hours left in our book drive. Um, you know, we're close to hitting our goal or we have more we'd like to get. So, I, definitely a second private message. Um, snail mail if you feel that would help and you know what you can even close it close it up you know say it's for 48 hours but it doesn't have to be for 48 hours you can just cut, send those snail mails out to grandmas and grandpas say you're raising money for this cause for these books that are awesome for this reason and then okay this looked like it closed in 48 hours but it never closes until you order the book. So if you get a check in the mail, you know, six days later, okay, great, you didn't order anything yet. So whatever you wanna do there. Um, I used YouCaring, that's what Dusty had used for her book drives. YouCaring.com, it is free. So I wrote up my blurb all about what I was doing. There is not a uh, nice script for that, I don't think anywhere because it's all um, whatever you want it to be, you know. So I wrote up the thing on you caring, copy pasted it in there. You link it to your PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account, I know people have done it through Square. I've only ever done it through you caring. Um, it's nice, it links right to your PayPal. There's a donate button. So in my private met, so I wrote my longer message there. Who, what, when, why, what this is. In my private message, I made it shorter. I'm raising money for this one or two sentences, check out more information on my YouCaring site where you can donate. And I sent the link to that. So it's shorter. You know, you don't want a big long private message. Okay, and then private message. That's my last note. Definitely send it via private message. Okay, now I want to just address a few questions based on the Cuddle Bear challenge that we're thinking of doing in September here for Cancer Awareness Month. So as you've probably seen, I'm sure you have in the catalog, the cute, adorable plush cuddle bear in the book, which already a portion of it goes to a uh, cancer foundation. You, some may think, here's a few questions that were asked about it. Can you donate them to different places? Like in her small town, the girl who asked, there's not a big enough place that she thought she could give 30, 40 cuddle bear donations to. Yeah, why not? You can do whatever you want and, uh, you know, make a list of, um, this place, this place, this place, and this place. I want to donate to all these places for this reason. Can you help us out? Great. So yeah, do what you want. Um, can it be done anytime? Well, yes, definitely. If you feel you can't do it in September, you can do it anytime you want. Those children, assumingly, a lot of people would be giving them to hospitals to children who are coming out of cancer treatments or they're going to love those bears anytime. So yes, you can do it anytime. Is there an editable version of the graphic? I think all graphics are editable. editable. So I would say how I would edit that graphic that Megan made for us. I would just open it up, right click on it. This is how I do all my graphics. Put, oh, no, I would say copy. And then I go to a file and I open it with paint. Microsoft, Microsoft, Daddy? Microsoft Paint. Paint. Microsoft Paint, that's what I do. And then I would just kind of cut out the word um, St. Vincent. She had St. Vincent Hospital in there and I would just either leave a blank um, or, yeah, you can really leave a blank. It really doesn't matter if it has the exact name of the organization you're giving it to. So that's what I would do. I, I'm sure there's many ways to do that. Um, how much is it? That's a good question. I was looking at it and the Cuddle Bear plush and book are $25. If we are assuming, um, so how a book drive works is for every, if you raise 250 to 500 and you enter it as a book fair and order pro, Asborn will match it 25%. If it's over 500, they'll match it 50%. You can enter a $200 and smash 50% if it's a literacy for a lifetime. 
There are people who say that that you can use this here. There are people who say you can't. So I do not <laughs> know the correct answer for that. But I will say over 500, it is match 50%. So assumingly, if this is match 50%, my thought was to ask for 17. Because if $17 is matched um, 50%, that is 25.50. So I think my Cuddle Bear Challenge, I'm gonna say for your donation of $17, that is an odd number. So maybe if you wanna make it 20, you're gonna have more for tax. I mean, there is tax. There's probably no shipping, but there is tax. So, hey, so say 20, because then it'll be 30 and that'll cover whatever you need it to cover, whatever you wanna do. So I would say for your donation of $20, um, we will be able to donate an adorable cuddle bear and book to a child in need. And then, Dusty mentioned saying this, and I did it for both of mine, a separate paragraph towards the end. We only need, if we get 25 people donating $20 each, we can get X amount of bears in the hands of these children. So if you kind of state that out there, like, Will you be one of them? Will you be one of those 25 people? I mean, hopefully 100 people do, but, uh, and say, I mean, would you like to sponsor two children or three children or four children or a hundred dollars? We'll give five children um, this joy, something. So, okay, I'll try not to make it too long. I think I've answered most of the questions. Let me know if there are more questions and there's anything you don't understand. They're very, very easy. It's really formatted to however you want it to be. It's simple. I think the more information you give, the better. And good luck.